This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV at Seagraph 2014. I'm actually at Seagraph's Global VR Meetup. To my immediate right is Justin Morovitz from Zero Transform. Welcome to the program, Justin. Thank you. Now, you have an active Kickstarter right now. What, what, what game are you developing? I'm working on a title called Vanguard V. And it's a third-person rail shooter where you re-enter the Earth's atmosphere in a blazing speed from a third person. But technically, it's in first, because there's this robot that follows you and streams what he sees to your visor, giving you an interesting perspective on your surroundings. So when you're flying through rocks and various other things, you, you get a good sense of depth and, and perspective. So what's, what's the object of the game? The object is more of a celebration of VR. And so the overall story is you're going to the center of the planet to get rid of the uh, parasite infestation. But every single level from space to the surface of the planet going down to the core has a slightly different take on the controls. So there's always something new to explore level to level. Now, what's the control like? like it, it, I think it, it's a PC game. Uh, is it strictly mouse and keyboard or using motion controllers? How, how is the interaction handled? There's no controller whatsoever. Everything is done through head tracking. So moving, flying, everything. I mean, we've been looking around at things our entire lives. And so you wouldn't believe how intuitive, intuitive it is just to look where you want to go. The same thing for targeting. You just look where you want to aim, and it'll lock on and fire automatically. So what I'm, what I'm gathering is, now I think in this case you're using the Oculus Rift, yes? So is it where your head moves, where your head's pointed, that's your whole interface? Absolutely. Now, uh, Oculus has gone through two iterations. They have the first developer kit, and then they've got the second developer's kit, which now features what we call positional tracking. Did that change the way your, your game's designed? So positional tracking really helps in a couple of fields. One, it allows a developer to add more perspective. So in my previous title, Proton Pulse, when you stand up, you really feel like you're standing in that scene. However, in this one, since you're flying, the UI moves in and out, and so it allows you to kind of shift your your character through tight spots and various other things. Also, it allows for reduced uh, motion sickness because when you move forward, you want something to move forward as well. So this is, uh, you're obviously uh, concentrated on virtual reality or uh, you're very much dedicated to it. What, what is it about VR that excites you so much? There's something physical about VR. So when you create something in 3D and you bring it into this world, it's there. Now, for years, I've seen games and polygons and various other things on screen, and that's pretty and nice, but you don't really get a sense that you can go to it, you can reach it, you can touch it. And that amazes me, that I can be physically somewhere. Well, you've, you've probably seen a lot of excitement here at, at the show. What, what's been the reaction to your game so far? Uh, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, when when the, the head-mounted display comes off, the first thing I see right under that display is the smile. Every single time, I'm like, that, 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 they got it. They, they love it. Awesome. That's wonderful. So you have a, an active Kickstarter right now. How could people donate to the program? What do they get? Well, if you go to VanguardV.com, all the information is right there. Excellent, excellent. Well, good luck uh, and congratulations. The response here has been tremendous, and uh, I wish you continued success with this. Thank you. This is Neil Schneider for MTVS-TV at Seagraph 2014. Thank you for watching.